when you have a market that does that shows supply or selling in the background and makes an upthrust, usually more supply than upthrust. The upthrust that you'll see is an upthrust at the distribution, and the market will correct. Now, when I say upthrust after distribution, it doesn't mean that that distribution changes the uptrend in the market to the downtrend. Okay? All it really means is that the market is going to some type of distribution for lower prices for the CM to buy it in a bull market, if it's a, if it's a bullish market. If it's a bearish market, upthrust after distribution leads to markdown. Now, you can say, well, oh, Jerry, just an upthrust. But sometimes there's distribution in a bull market within an upthrust. Okay? So, in this case here, okay, you have a market. And I'm just going to do it real generically today. Market-wise, in which you have a bar that goes and breaks hard with volume. Obviously, you see this bar here, right? Obviously, this bar here has increasing volume. This bar right here. So it's got a supply bar. You draw a line across. You have a market here that really doesn't really show an upthrust. Doesn't get there. But here is an upthrust. So this bar here, this bar here represents of a selling bar or, or an upthrust. So this is a UTAD. Now there's, there's ones that are more flatter than this. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of this one. This is an example of UTAD, an upthrust of distribution. What we have in the background is selling. Yeah. Buyers are selling there. Yeah, and we have the UTAD. Now, when we first see this bar, when we first oh, see this bar, it's just an upthrust. Okay? When we first see this bar, it's just an upthrust. But when you get to this selling here, it becomes the upthrust after distribution. So it could be just an upthrust. An upthrust is just a probe to go higher in the bull markets. Upthrust and distribution is where you get selling the background, and then you get to selling the background and markdown. So that's the difference, right? With the supply in the background, the upthrust becomes an upthrust and distribution. That's what distribution looks like when you sell, rally, sell, rally, buy, selling sales. That doesn't mean the market, again, turns into a bearish market. It means that the market has distribution. Because the CM thinks that the value of the market is about to here. So it yeah, sells out, sells out, maybe sells as longs, gets a few, few shorts and boom. Okay. Does anyone does anyone understand that? The upthrust and distribution. Okay, it's a very, very important aspect. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Very, very important aspect. So the upthrust distribution, now usually. It'll happen like against the resistance, right? Pop up, boom, down. But it wasn't ready here. Here it was. Boom. UTAD. Up for us at your distribution of background. Okay. Here. Now you don't have you went a little bit higher. The up thrust here has no no selling, right? So it was a probe actually to go higher. Now usually it's up for us. It doesn't have that wide, it doesn't have that wide range of a bar and go down like that and act like that. But it acts real quickly. It's an up for us. Almost acts like a shakeout, down then up. So it comes with no no distribution cost. Now that's why it can't be a UTAD because there's no distribution here. Like the other one has supply first, and this one didn't. This can't be a UTAD. This is that distribution. The other one has supply first, 
the retest, faster distribution. UTAD to the downtrend is ending action for move down. UTAD is, is a down action. It's an ending action for the market to go lower and resume its downtrends. An upthrust in a bullish market is a probe to go down, to knock out some stops. The CM could rebuy them, reaccumulation of, of, of longs, buy them, and the market's shaking out in their hands. It's a, it's a UTAD. When you have cost built, you have to, you have, you can have distribution there. That's the bearishness of it. To just up thrust from a lack of selling, it, it's not it's just you know probe. Had this been no selling here, this would this have been an up thrust, then come down and then gone up. But because we are selling in the background, this becomes UTAD. So if you have a UTAD in the market, <coughs> you let, let, usually the market will go initially, ideally, will go to the first support, right? Maybe fail and then go back up to the resistance area up here. So UTAD will break hard, goes up. The market now is moving up. A little up thrust. This is a short enough thrust and up thrust, isn't it? See it? A little shorty up thrust and up thrust. Kind of a mini lesson, by the way. Right? It could be an SOT, but there's no distribution. So it just continues higher. You can say it's this. It's really not, not that significant. This is the change of character here. So as you're moving up, the probe is to go higher. No distribution. No distribution, selling in the background, becomes UTD. Selling in the background. See this right here? Selling in the background. Take my line, selling here, a short enough thrust and an up thrust. Up thrust, which you got to be concerned with in a bear market or selling the background. Up thrust, you don't got to be concerned with necessarily. It's an up thrust in a bullish market with no cause of distribution. UTAD. An up thrust that happens in a market that's bearish. <coughs> Barbie, that's bearish. That goes up there in a secondary test, forms an up thrust, and then markdown. UTAD in a market that's bullish will give you some other count, but not significantly because we're currently so bullish. If you get supply, then everything becomes bearish. So you look here, selling, just like a UTAD, right? Up thrust. No distribution. You usually do a little flat like this here. This is more what we, what we see, right? Up, up. These are bullish probes. Now we have selling here that held the support higher. That's the difference depending on which is which as far as the up thrust probe and the other. <coughs> 